Discussion on ETCO2 monitoring in ICO. Carbon dioxide monitoring is also known as capnography. N-tidal carbon dioxide is a partial pressure of carbon dioxide in exhaled air at the end of expiration. Normal values are in the range of 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. The graphical representation of CO2 is known as capnogram. In the monitor screenshot, the capnogram is seen at the bottom. Here the ETCO2 is shown as 28 millimeters of mercury. It is below the lower limit and could be due to hyperventilation in a spontaneously breathing person. Respiratory rate drawn from capnography is 29 per minute, which matches with the respiratory rate measured by transthoracic impedance monitoring in the second tracing from the top. Topmost tracing is the electrocardiogram, which shows regular sinus rhythm at 83 per minute. Invasive blood pressure monitoring, usually with a cannula in the radial artery, shows a blood pressure of 116 by 68 millimeters of mercury. The remaining tracing is a pulse oximetry, which shows an oxygen saturation of 94%. Capnography is useful after endotracheal intubation to confirm the position of the tube in the trachea and is used routinely in most modern centers in the emergency department. ETCO2 monitoring is commonplace in the operating room and most of the state-of-the-art intensive care units. Capnography provides instantaneous information on ventilation, perfusion and cellular respiration, all of which are important in maintaining ETCO2 values in the normal range. Hence, ETCO2 monitoring is also useful in assessing the effectiveness of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. There are mainstream and sidestream devices for measurement of ETCO2. Mainstream devices for measurement of ETCO2 are connected at the hub of the endotracheal tube. The sensor is located at the same location. Side stream devices aspirate a small sample of exhaled air from the endotracheal tube or nasal cannula and the sensor is located in the monitor. Side stream monitoring can be used for intubated and non-intubated patients. Incidentally, Pectimer and Associates found that ETCO2 values by mainstream and sidestream methods were significantly lower than simultaneously obtained PACO2 values in their study of 114 subjects. Here is the relevant journal reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.